Uh, in France, unfortunately, unfortunately, some people don't pray on time or combine multiple prayers. Uh, they, they just don't know this is haram. So, for example, they pray Fajr, Fajr as soon as they wake up, regardless of the time. And because of work of school, they combine the two prayers, like Dur and As, up to four prayers, like Dur, As, Maghreb, and Isha. They, they make up two or four. Some claim that this is because of the Maliki Madab. So I want to help them. Can you explain why this is haram? Thanks, thanks you. Jazakallah khair. Il n'y a pas de quoi. The Prophet, alayhi salatu wassalam, prayed every prayer on time. Allah says, Inna salata kanat ala al-mu'minina kitaban mawquta. Prayer was prescribed upon the believers at specific times. So it has a beginning and it has an end. And likewise, when Jibreel, peace be upon him, came to the Prophet ﷺ over the duration of two days to teach him how to pray, he prayed five times of the day, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha, at the beginning of the time. And the following day, he prayed the five prayers, Fajr, Dhuhr, Maghrib, uh, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, at the end of its time. And he said to him, Muhammad, the prayer is between this and this, the beginning of the time and the end. You cannot pray it before, and as well, you cannot pray it afterwards, because the time is over, and it is prescribed at specific times. So those who pray Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha at 9 o'clock p.m. at the end of the day, their Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib is invalid. They should not pray it. It's gone. It's over. Even if they pray a hundred rak'ah, it's not going to be counted. Only Isha is valid because it's prayed on time. Combining the prayer without a legitimate reason is the madhab of the Shia, not of the Maliki. They combine without any specific reason and they pray three times a day, some sects of them, that is. And this is not permissible. These people in France, they are playing with the religion. And this is why, unfortunately, the vast majority, a lot of the imams of the masjid that people take knowledge from have no knowledge. They are people, they bring them from North Africa or from here or from there. They know a few surahs. They have beautiful voice. They lead the prayer. And people consider them to be sheikh to be alim, and they ask them for fatwa. And if you look at how they behave, how they act, how they cross red lines in Islam, you can easily say that these guys are not imams. I don't know what they're doing. This is not Islam what they're doing. So it's very wrong to take knowledge from such people or to follow such people. We have great scholars, Bin Baz, Bin Uthaymeen, Al-Albani and the likes, whom their publications and their teachings and their lessons and lectures are widely spread. And you can take pure knowledge according to the Quran and the Sunnah. Most likely, these people in France and elsewhere don't want the Quran and the Sunnah. And this is why they fight against anyone who calls for Quran and the Sunnah. This goes against democracy. These are going against the republic beliefs. And that's why they kick them out. Because they don't want Quran and Sunnah. Who wants Quran and the Sunnah? Except people who want the truth and who want what pleases Allah Azza wa Jal. And definitely they do not.